Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a video walkthrough of the latest free crochet pattern available on georgecrafts.co.uk. I'll put the link to the pattern below and I'm going to show you how to make one of these heart motifs. So I have got some DK yarn, 4mm hook and a darning needle for the ends. You don't need to worry about tension for this project. To begin, we're gonna make a magic ring. So I always do this the same way. I'm holding the very end of my yarn and I'm just gonna lay it over my index and my middle finger. And then wind it round those two fingers once. I'm gonna be holding my thumb against my index finger with the two pieces of yarn and then I'm going to lift up my ring finger and hold my working yarn between my ring finger and my little finger. So I've got my hook which I'm going to pass underneath both strands of yarn. I'm going to grab hold of the long strand and I'm going to bring it underneath the short strand. And then I'm just going to turn my hook so now I've got a loop on there. The next thing to do is to just grab hold of the yarn that's between your ring finger and your little finger, wrap it around the end of your hook and pull it through the loop that's already on your hook. So that's how you start the magic ring. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold on to my yarn just below the loop that's on my hook, take my fingers out so you can see the structure. So this is the magic loop here and this is the tail of our yarn and this is the working yarn. What we're going to do is we're going to use the working yarn to make our stitches around the tail and the magic loop. So to begin with I'm just going to pick up my yarn, wrap it around my little finger and then I'm going to hold the tail and the top of the circle between my middle finger and my thumb. And then I'm going to make three chain stitches and that counts as my first treble crochet. So I'm going to make three more. And to make a treble crochet, we wrap the yarn around the hook, place our hook into the space or the stitch, and pull the yarn back through. Wrap the yarn around the hook again, pull it through the first two loops and then wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through the second two loops. Then we're going to make three chain stitches and now I want to make a group of four trebles. So now I've got a group of four trebles, a chain space and another group of trebles. Another three chains and then make another group of four trebles. And then three more chains. And then to close the magic loop, hold on to the last treble and then with your other hand hold on to the tail of your yarn and just pull the tail as tightly as you can. And then we're going to finish this round 
by joining our chain stitch to the top of the three chains that we started with. So I take my hook, pass it through the third chain of our beginning three, pull our yarn through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So that's round one finished. Start round two, do three chains and then move to the chain space. Make four trebles. Three chains. And another four trebles, all in the same space. I'm going to move to the next chain space and I'm going to make another group of four trebles. Three chains and then four trebles in the same chain space. Move to the third chain space. I'm going to make four trebles again. Next we're going to do three chains and then do three trebles. Once you've done your three trebles, you're gonna find the third chain in your beginning chain three and make a slip stitch. And that's the same as you did for the first round. So now you've got two groups of four and a chain three in each corner. So you finished round two. To do round three we're going to make one chain and then in the same place you're going to make a double crochet and then a double crochet into each of the next four stitches. When you get to the chain space you're going to make two double crochets into the space and now we're going to make the pico, which is going to give us a nice defined point on our heart. So to do that, you're going to make three chain stitches and then join the third and the first chain of those three with a slip stitch. So you're going to put your hook through the bump at the back of the first chain and then bring your yarn through that stitch and through the loop that's on your hook. You're going to make two more double crochets into the chain space and then you're going to do a double crochet into each of the eight trebles down this side. So to double crochet and put your hook through the stitch, bring the yarn back with you so you have two loops on your hook bring the yarn around the hook and drag it through both loops. So we're going to do two double crochets into the chain space. So once you've done the two double crochets, we're going to make the two semicircles on the top of the heart. Skip the first treble in this group of four and you're going to make nine double trebles into the second treble of your group of four. So to do a double treble you wrap the yarn around your hook once and around the hook twice. Put your hook through the stitch so that's the second one in this group of four. Put the yarn around the hook again and bring the yarn back through. So you should be able to see I've got four loops on my hook there. I'm now going to wind the yarn around the hook once more and bring it through the first two loops on my hook. Wind the yarn around again and bring it through the next two loops on the hook. Wind the yarn around again and bring it through the last two loops on the hook and then you're going to make eight more of those in the same stitch. Once you've got nine, 
you'll see it's starting to look a little bit more like a heart. I'm going to skip the rest of the stitches in this group of four and then in the space between our groups, so that's where you see my finger poking through, we're going to make a double crochet into the space. So we're going to put our hook through the space, wind the yarn around the hook, bring it back so I've got two loops and close the two loops. We're going to make nine more double trebles and we're going to skip the first and the second of the trebles on this group of four and we're going to make all nine double trebles into the third treble in this group of four. I've now got my nine double trebles on this side. I'm going to skip the final treble in that group of four and then we arrive at the chain space and we're going to do two double crochets into that chain space. So all we have left now is our three trebles and our chain that we started round two with. So we're going to do a double crochet in the first treble, in the second treble, in the third treble and that chain three already has a double crochet in it. So we join into the round with a slip stitch and then our heart is almost finished. So I just bring the yarn through the stitch snip or break the end and tighten it up and now what we have to do is weave our ends in thank you guys so much for watching remember to like and subscribe if you've got any questions please leave them for me in the comments below and i will see you all in the next video take care now bye bye